welcome back. I hope that you are all okay and that you've had a really good week. So this week what we're going to be doing is um, a reading about if your person is with someone else or there is a third party influence and what I mean by that is if there's someone, um, sometimes third parties don't have to be people, they can be drug addictions, they can be alcohol addictions, they can be interfering family members, okay? So we're going to be doing um, a third party reading, whatever your third party may be and we're going to be looking at you and your person and what's going to happen next between the two of you. So I've got two decks, I've also got my dice and I've got the Lenormand again um, and we'll go and have a look at everything that's going on. So let's do, uh, this is going to be deck number one or card number one and this is card number two. Okay so what you need to do is think about you, think about your person and go to the card that you are most drawn to. And as you're drawn to that card, what I need you to do is feel the emotions that you have for your person, feel them in your heart center, in your energy, and feel it pushing into the deck. Now, if you can't feel it push it in, just visualize a pink color or a green color going towards the cards that you are most drawn to. And that picks up the mutual energy that we then put into the decks. Remember, emotion, energy, emotion. So the more you put your energy of you and your person into the deck, the more um, you're going to come up in a neutral energy between you all. OK, so how it works as it works kind of like at school, it works on the average energy between you all where you go into everyone's energy. We pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all. OK, deck number one. So can you tell me what is going to happen next between the people watching and their person, the third party? connection the person and the third party connection okay think about your person for me their person's thoughts feelings energy emotions and thought processes and all possibilities probabilities choices chances and changes so the first thing that spirit are giving to me through my right ear i am a psychic medium rather than just a tarot reader i channel straight from spirit um i do do mediumship in people's readings which is where we connect up with your loved ones that have passed over to spirit pass your messages over but it can be a little bit complicated over video reading when i used to do stage work i could always have your feedback of yes and no and without your feedback it can sometimes be a little bit more complicated to do mediumship on video readings um, but I do pass the information over if someone you love pops through. So what's going to happen next between the people watching and their beloved? One, two. If you don't like creepy decks, this is a creepy deck. It's got the, it's a beautiful deck but there, there are no eyes in it. So if you're um, easily freaked out for five, Let's see how many do you want? Eight. So I've got a song coming forward. I've got um, Papa Don't Preach. Papa Don't Preach. I'm in trouble deep. I have all of them. So we've got that song coming forward in my right ear really clearly. Um, so what this is saying is no matter what you're doing or what circumstances you are involved in with your person, that strong emotional energy is really involving the two of you together. And you might be getting people that are a little bit judgmental to you, uh, your friends telling you to back off, family thinking back off, and you might be feeling quite swamped with other people's emotions and feelings towards the connection with you and your person. Spirit is saying try not to take people judgments on boards when it happens and people are judgmental towards you try to consider it as just a point of view they are not the person living through the cycle that you guys are they aren't involved in the full mix-up of the emotions that you guys are going through so just kind of when people if people are being a little bit judgmental towards you take a step back try to see it from an outside perspective generally it's just your loved ones wanting to care about you wanting the best for you but please don't take it into your energy and um, so that song was the first thing that came forward now let's have a look at your dice before we go into the cards and see what these say so um as I said in the last reading when I go to my friend's house I always have my dice on me rather than taking tarot cards these read exactly exactly like tarot so what is going to happen next with the person the people watching and their person here we go okay six of wands I'm gonna have to try show you it really clearly as it comes out. Ten of Cups. Death. That's the 13. Death. Got Five of Pentacles. And we have got, oh, 
that was the five of pentacles we've also got the ten of swords okay so straight away there is this very strong energy coming up between you both that there is a lot of complications involved in your situation and again it doesn't necessarily have to be your person is sick is involved with someone else already um it could be alcohol addictions drug addictions other things that are having an influence on it but there is this whole big rigmarole going on around you where there is a state of confusion and you're not sure what you should be doing so you guys watching are feeling quite under pressure at the moment you're debating whether this is something that you want to carry on investing time in and um, your person's giving you a little bit but not really giving much back to you and you're feeling very um very stuck very confused and very unsure of what's going on what you're also doing is you're adding two and two and making 20 when it comes to the situation sometimes your person can withdraw from you sometimes they're not giving you exactly what you want to hear and just you really do start analyzing what they're saying and reading between the lines um a lot of you guys as well especially with everything that's been happening on a universal level have been spending time on your own at the moment and when you've been spending time on your own you've got nothing but your thoughts to help you uh, analyze things and then you process and you over process especially if your star sign is orientated towards the over press over processing i'm a gemini i process and i over process so a lot of you are kind of in that same situation where you're processing and over processing so it's possible that some of you guys the situation's come to a close or you're debating that it's come to a close and you're debating what's going to happen next where are we going this hasn't ended well i'm feeling very lost i'm feeling very stuck i'm feeling very confused now it's also possible that with some of you guys the situation has either been cut off or it's just not really moving forward and you're debating whether to cut it off. That's where your energy currently is. So a lot of you guys are looking back to stuff that has happened in the past between the both of you. You're wondering now if there is room for this situation to grow. There hasn't been much growth in recent times between the two of you. Um, and you really are looking back to stuff that happened thinking, well, you know, it would be really good if this relationship has the potential to progress a little bit further forward. Now, what's happening with that is your person's kind of putting up a little bit of a brick wall so as you're trying to go to them and make this situation progress forward make it go a little bit better than perhaps it has been you really are hit with this brick wall your person has kind of got this really solid wall up in front of you um, and when you try and talk to them they're not really communicating back with you in a way or possible again with some of you guys that your person is just not communicating at all with you so you're looking back to stuff that's happened in the past how wonderful it was how phenomenal it was and how it's got to where it is now specifically for the third party people watching um Taylor Swift released a new album last week and there was a song on there called Illicit Affairs. Now, please don't listen to it if you are in a low frequency because you're going to bawl your eyes out. It's extremely sad. Um, but it does say on there, like, even though you feel like you, you're dying a hundred times, the reason why it goes on and you repeat it is because you do it a hundred times more because the love between the two of you is really strong. So even though you're hitting this brick wall, your person's emotions are there for you. They do really deeply care about you. They do have a love for you. They're just very good at kind of hiding away from it burying it down deep because they know if they bury it down deep then they don't have to do anything about the situation they don't have to act on it they don't have to react on it so you have got this kind of i'm coming towards you seeing what happens between the two of us and you're being met with this brick wall they do have emotions for you they do still see that there is potential for growth between the two of you but they're not working it out at the moment what they want to do about the situation so you are again hitting this brick wall you're not sure what to do now both of you are still clinging onto the situation while a choice isn't being made on it you're both thinking it all through this is you debating what to do over the situation what's going to happen next what direction do you go in and your person as well is kind of doing the same they're standing there thinking well you know maybe it's best if the situation gets released so that i can move forward with my life um but it's not that easy because again their emotions for you are really strong so it does feel that what's going to happen next between the two of you is this little bit of a cycle and a loop it's going to take one thing to change this cycle and to change this loop but at the moment neither of you are actually doing that so you're kind of going round in circles now if the cycle has broken between the two of you and you are having this period of kind of this death card this no contact or whatever equivalent where's it gone 
the problem with the dice, you put them down and the, the numbers move. So wherever you guys are at this moment in time with your person, if the situation has come to a close, it's going to be resurging itself. If you haven't come to a close with your person yet, it's possible that you might decide that you've had enough of the situation and take a step back from it. Now, if you take a step back from the situation, your person's going to wonder what's actually happening. Happening. They're going to wonder what you're up to, what you're doing, who you're with, are you seeing someone else, what's actually going on, and all these fears are going to be rising up underneath the surface for them. So at this moment in time, there's kind of this ignorance is bliss, I'm just going to pretend that everything is okay, that the situation is working well a little bit of self-preservation because they're scared about how this situation can progress but once they've kind of either you've walked away or you guys have had a bit of downtime or anything along those lines these fears are really going to stick into your person and they're going to really analyze how much they love you at the moment again they're burrowing their love emotions really down deep but once this kind of period um, of this downtime between you both has come to a bit of a close these fears are going to really rise up within them and when these fears rise up within them you have got quite a, a strong shift in energy now it's not to say that the cycle is going to break it does still feel the cycle is going to go on but it's going to be going into the next chapter of the cycle with you and your person you guys are getting very frustrated with it you know, very, very fed up with it. And it is this very cyclical energy. So as time progresses between the two of you, you still have this element of deception with your person. Um, they're still going to be very much in the same position that they are in currently. Um, but there is a change in their energy towards you, okay? They're going to be acknowledging their emotions more. And it's possible with some of you guys that you're actually going to start planning towards a future. So at the moment, yes, it's sticky, it's stagnant, it's cyclical. Nothing is really going on. When time progresses and things move forward and your person realizes what life is like without you they're going to have this bit of a wake-up call and through this wake-up call even though the deception is still here they're going to start thinking about the future of you and if there's a way that you guys can plan towards getting what you want now very much what your person's back of their mind is actually do you guys want the same things okay so something that along the lines of uh children are being brought into my energy just as an example some of you guys might want kids you might find that there is an age gap between the two of you and your person is older than you and they might not want children so there is sometimes this difference in energies and what you guys actually want from the situation so if there's a middle ground between the two of you that you guys can work through your individual areas and what it is that you want then this can progress in the right direction You've also got the card of manifesting. You can manifest this situation moving forward. If you need me for that, just give me a shout. I do manifesting plans. Um, but your person in themselves, even though there's this quite stubborn, sticky energy around them, their emotions for you are really strong. But it does look like for, for a few of you that the cycle is going to have to break. You're going to have to have some downtime from one another to realise what this connection is and where it's going and what you guys actually want. Now, that's not all of you. That's some of you guys but there definitely does feel to be a breaking in the connection but it's only temporary okay so if you guys are not talking or anything along those lines it's a temporary um glitch spirit are calling it a glitch it's a temporary glitch now if we look over at the dice of the ten of cups and the six of wands we have again your very very strong emotions for your person your person's very strong emotions for you and you have your victory coming out of it so even though it might be a little bit dark at this moment in time you might feel that things aren't working out the way that you want them to it's all very heavy very sad and you're not sure what to do about it with your ten of swords and your five of pentacles over here and with death you're feeling very lost very stuck very unsure of what's going on a lot of the time you guys as well are putting up this this mask spirit saying that you're saying that everything is fine but really underneath the surface you are very very upset but the reason why you're saying that again is because people can be a little bit judgmental towards you and what it is that you want from the situation your person absolutely loves you okay there's no doubt in that there's no disputing that it's circumstances that are making this situation difficult really really hard it's what's making it hard now you can have a new beginning with your person um it's going to be very much based more on the logical side of things than the heart-based side of things and this is where your person is at this moment in time they're trying to brush these emotions down and act on the logical side rather than the heart side because if they act on the heart side they are aware that they've got to create these changes right here right now and at the moment they're still playing silly buggers with it and thinking no and it's going to take that little bit of downtime 
between you both for them to realise what life is like without you and come towards you and start planning more of a future with you. And you have got the potential here for a new beginning, but your person has got to shake up their world. They're very stuck. They're very stuck. They're scared of making changes. And again, with the Papa Don't Pre Preach song, they're scared of what other people would think of the situation if it goes the way that you guys are hoping it is. Um, there is a middle ground that can be met between the two of you. Okay, so it's not all hope is lost. It's not all done and dusted. It's not all over for good. There is a middle ground between the two of you, but you're really going to have to listen to one another and communicate efficiently with each other about what you guys want. Now, if your person's not in that mind frame that they want to talk to you about things, it's best that you wait for them to come to you at a time that they are more likely to be communicating with you about what they want. Their emotions for you, as we said, they run deep. Um, at the moment as well, Spirit is saying they've got quite a lot of an easy thing going on. They know how, don't take that the wrong way, but they know how much they love you and they know that you're still there. And sometimes it takes us losing something for us to realise what we've lost. And that's where the song, uh, I just got a song, You Only Know You Love Her When You Let Her Go. Um, it's that kind of energy coming forward. At the moment, when it's been quite good, everything's all right. You know, they're not in a bad place. They're in an okay position. They feel that they don't have to do anything over the situation right now. And with you guys weighing up what you want, either you are in contact and you're debating what to do or you're not in contact and you're debating what to do, whatever your individual circumstances are, this little downtime where you can just go into your own thought process, you can really unravel what it is that you want so that when it comes back round, you've got this chance of communicating openly with each other to build a stabilised future. You, Your person hasn't let this situation go. If you're worrying that they don't love you and they don't have emotions for you, please don't do that. They do. They care about you very, very deeply. But this family or whatever equivalent of this third party situation is really holding them in place. Largely because of stability and security rather than they have deep passionate feelings for the person because they don't the person they're with they don't but they feel that they have this kind of moral obligation to stay where they are so remember that their love for you is really deep that they care very strongly for you they're kind of consumed by fear at the moment with this as well spirit is saying that it's coming up into their dreams as well as their subconscious is processing everything that's happened they're feeling quite guilty about the situation more towards you than towards them because they want they, they're being guilty in their own heart because they want to follow the path with you but they don't know how to do it they can't see the direction they can't see the wood through the trees there's a massive sense of confusion confusion going on around them okay but if we look over at the dice with your victory over here it looks like you're going to be up in your game okay I just got the winner takes it all as well now with that again it's it's a little bit at the moment you do feel as if you're playing games with your person or you might feel as if you're playing games with your person that's not all of you that's some of you um you might feel that your person is in control of this situation and you don't know how to deal with it or what to do about it but again, remember, try to, if you do feel that there's this kind of game playing going on, take it back to that essence of unconditional love between the two of you. Look at the emotions that you both share for one another, okay? And you're going to take yourself out of that kind of lower frequency into a more positive frequency. Again, with the manifesting card over here, there is a shift and change that can happen with you and your person. We need to try and get you out of this lower mind frame. The other thing that can happen as well is if if they are involved with someone else or with someone else if you start focusing your energy on them and the person that they're with you can bring that into fruition remember it only takes 17 seconds for a thought to come into reality 17 seconds is all you've got to hold on to um, so in that time frame, if you feel that you're getting a negative thought and it's starting to spiral, try and distract yourself, call your friend, paint your nails, go for a walk, put the TV on, chill, okay, try to release that energy. All right, let's look at the Lenormand about where your future is going with your person. So these work very differently from Tarot. As I said to you before, my family were all uh, part of a travelling circus in Poland um, and they did fortune telling rather, rather than Tarot, they did fortune telling. So I like the Lenormand and how they work, but they give us very blunt answers. So what's going to happen next with the people watching and their person? What's going to happen next with the people watching? and their person. Ooh. Let's have both of them. 
Okay. So it kind of, again, it's echoing what the tarot and the dice have said so far. At the moment, you've kind of got this period of um, calmness as you're working through everything that you want and you're coming up in this lady frequency, okay? Now, remember, it's never sexually orientated or gender specific. In Lenormand, you have a lady and a man which symbolizes you guys. You're coming forward as the lady. Your person will symbolize the man, okay? So at the moment, you're looking forward um, in this kind of calming energy whilst you're working out what you want but spirit spirit are also saying with that you're feeling a little bit irate you're a little bit up and down but really you're trying to calm yourself down with this you also feel this sense of grief at the moment you're feeling very low so you're in a calm energy but you're in a low energy you're feeling kind of at your wits end with it all now from there you're going to be speaking to your person there is going to be communication coming through so even though you're looking towards the grief that's happening you've got this communication stepping in next as they communicate with you or you choose to communicate with them in this communication there is going to be talk of movement okay movement or travel or hiding away from situations maybe having a bit of downtime from one another you have this movement okay movement either away from the situation together or um, or alone okay so there is going to be a very strong communication conversation happening between the two of you as this movement comes forward now this movement then moves to house now the house symbolizes stability and security so it's what we were saying earlier on with the tarot it's not all hope is lost even though you might be feeling that you're going through this bit of downtime with each other and you're having this period of grief or sadness or heaviness as you don't know what is going on there is still a glimmer of hope here okay um, and with the house at the end this is showing that the stability you can you two can have together definitely communication coming forward as you to talk through things now again with that conversation that you guys have it's really really important that you talk through what you're actually feeling what you actually want from the situation and if they start to get a little bit self-defensive on you just say you know hold your horses calm down we need to speak as adults and um, sometimes between the two of you because there's a lot of passionate energy it can erupt into these massive volcanoes okay so with this this conversation that you guys are going to have together please to keep it please keep Keep it calm and honest. Open communication will be key to this moving forward. It's not an epic fail. It's not a no, it's no good. The love between the two of you is really strong. Okay, remember that the circumstances involving your person are very difficult. But with open and honest communication, there is a chance that you guys can progress this situation forward. Okay. Try not to let your mind overthink. Remember, again, as we said, you're spiraling when you get that a negative emotion, you spiral on it. You wonder what they're doing, who they're with, what's going on, what's happening. Or again, if it's not a third party person, it's family, they influencing it. Are they putting seeds in their minds? What's actually happening? Try not to overanalyze your thought process on it. If you're having a bit of downtime or going to have a bit of downtime, that's actually a positive. OK, even though it sounds negative and you're like, oh, my God, I can't do it. What will happen is in that downtime, your person is going to realise what life is like without you, okay? And through that, that movement back to you, that open communication, that, where has it gone? That open communication, that honest communication, and seeing if there is a way for this to work between the two of you, okay? Remember as well, until your person commits to you, you don't need to commit to them, okay? You can kind of put them on the sideline. Keep them there. Keep them on the sideline as you move yourself forward. And once they get their shit sorted, then if they come towards you and they make these movements towards you and communicate with you about it, then you guys can work out if this is something that you want. OK, it's not easy. It's not an easy situation. It's a very difficult situation. It's a very heavy energy around you, you guys. And I can feel this very strong feeling in my heart of, of sadness. OK, but. Please just keep putting one foot in front of the next. There is a way that this can shift. Manifesting is key, okay, as well. Manifesting will really help. Not just law of attraction. I'm not just talking about law of attraction. I'm talking about all the universal laws, using them all together to move your situation forward, okay? So maybe a little bit of downtime between the two of you. Let it happen. Once they've realised what life is like without you, this communication is strongly coming forward as they plan the next steps and the two of you can sit down, or speak on the phone or FaceTime one another and talk about what you want from the situation. And with that open and honest communication, there is a potential that this can move forward, okay? 
and that is step number one. All right, guys, have a wonderful week. Um, I'm sending tons of love to you all. Look after yourself, guys, and I will speak to you soon. God bless. Hi guys, okay, deck number two, let's do this. So this is gonna be what's happening with you and your person next. So let's go into your energies. As I said at the start, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. I've got the tarot dice, I've also got the lemon one down, so we can get a really good understanding of where this situation is going and what is happening next. So think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's Thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes, please, my beautiful guys. And all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of their person. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so the first thing that's kind of coming through my right ear is we have got a prayer coming forward from Spirit. Um, this is a prayer that we, it was definitely biblical. I know I'm not religious. I'm definitely spiritual, but I'm not religious. Um, I don't know the Bible, but this is um, about as you're walking through the shadow, uh, the shadow of the valley of death, I will fear no evil. So you guys are really um, gathering your strength at this moment in time, feeling quite strong over the situation, um, knowing that faith will guide you is what spirit are saying, okay? You are being guided, very, very strongly guided by your loved ones, your helpers and your guides in the other dimensions, in the other realms. What's gonna happen next with them and their person? These cards are looking good so far. Let's see if we can get a full house. What's going to happen next? Ooh, this is good. This is good. Now, as I said on deck number one, third party doesn't necessarily have to be um, people. It can be um, drug addictions. It can be alcohol addictions. It can be interfering family. It can be anything along those lines. Let's just get two more. What's going to happen next? With them and the person one. These cards are good. You've got a good, good deck of cards, my loves. Good deck of cards. Okay, so let's start off by doing the tarot dice. I carry these around in my handbag all the time so that if I'm ever at my friend's house and they have a panic, I just get the dice out rather than carrying decks everywhere. Okay, can you tell me what's going to happen next with deck number two and their people? Okay, so you've got the... Let me work this out. You have got the Queen of Cups, which is interesting because she's also on your card. You've got the Ten of Swords, which we haven't got over here. We have got, um, where's it gone? We've got Temperance, good old Temperance, my least favourite card. You've got the Nine of Wands and you've also got the Seven of Pentacles. I know it's really hard to see. I'm going to go over that in a black pen, I think. Okay, so let's see what is happening with you and your person, where it's going next. So you've had a real rigmarole with this person. You've been finding this person making very, very, very slow movement towards you. You've been feeling that maybe you've been trying to charge ahead and your person has been lingering behind and not giving you what it is that you want. However, what you have learned from this situation that this is a very strong divine connection, okay? So it's likely that your twin flames, uh, higher vibrational soulmates, anything along those lines. It's a very strong spiritual connection. And what you've done in this time out is you've really learned a lot about yourself. So this connection that's brought the two of you together um, has made you realize that there is a lot more to life than what meets the eye, that this is a spiritual connection and that you're trying to keep grounded on it all. Your emotions for your person are really strong. Their emotions for you are really strong and there is movement towards you, okay? So even though it's slow movement, it's slow movement, it's steady movement, it's maybe frustrating movement towards you, but there is still movement as they are stepping into your energy, okay? Strong movement, slow, steady, but also so strong spirit are saying there is a lot more balance in their emotions towards you in deck number one there was a lot of irate energy kind of going around deck number two they know how they feel about you they are very aware of how they feel about you and their emotions for you are extremely strong but you have it very slow and steady very logical very logical um but at the same time 
very grounded with it, okay? So they're not kind of running off with the fairies. They're being very sensible over the situation or what they feel is sensible. Some of you guys, you're, you're quite flighty, feisty, sexy, sassy, powerful energies and your person frustrates you with that because they have this stability kind of coming forward and you're not really sure um, what's going on with them. Now, your person very much loves you, okay? If we look at both of these, the 13 and the, this colour stands for the Queen of Cups and you have the Queen of Cups over here. Your person very very much has strong feelings for you. These feelings haven't faded, they haven't gone away, they look towards you as well, Spirit saying with some, some form of inspiration and admiration. They love how you are in your life, they see you in a very strong position. They also as well, Spirit saying, have seen your journey, okay? So where if we go back to the very initial start with you and your person and how you were with them then, to how you are now, how you have grown in this spiritual journey and your person very much sees that and they're very drawn to that. They love how you communicate. Spirit is saying that they find your communication enchanting, mesmerizing. They love, they love it, they love it. They love how you are as a person. They love your lust for life that you have. Now, it has been a bit of a difficult time for you guys if we look to stuff that's happened in your past. It has been a difficult time for you. Uh, you've been feeling quite battered and bruised. Your person also has been feeling battered and bruised. But it's come to this point now where you guys are working towards or going to be working towards a future, okay? So you're planning it all at this moment in time. You guys are planning. And even if your person is not communicating to you about their planning, there is this sense of planning coming forward. They're thinking everything through. They've got a number of choices, feeling quite, they were, sorry, they were feeling confused over the situation, but something has happened recently with the majority of you guys, something has happened recently which has really triggered them into knowing what it is that they want over the situation. Now, it's possible that they're still looking at other avenues, different things that are going on, the ways, the, the whys, the hows, the, the whens, they're looking at all of that. They're perhaps missing a beat, Spirit are saying on that, as they're looking at different options that aren't the one they should be going down, but there is this kind of progression route happening towards you. They are very close to making up their mind on this situation with the two of you. So if you've been really struggling with it, it's shifting in your favour now. Now with temperance over here on your dice, we haven't got, we've got a bit of a not yet, okay? So whilst they're in this energy it's slow movement it's steady movement it's coming towards you they're working it out they're working out what they want they're getting through the hows the what's the when's the why's and then there is movement towards you at this moment in time though it's just not yet so hold on to your horses horses are really strongly coming into your energy hold on to your horses buckle up okay because this movement is very strong and significant coming towards you now, as this happens, as this movement comes towards you and where it's going next, you have got your page of pentacles stepping forward here. Um, we've also got the ten of pentacles. So if we look at the stable side of things, we've got a very strong shift in your person's energy towards you. From It's kind of like a reverse. Normally your page goes up to your night, but actually spirit is saying with this, there is a reverse in the energy. So what with that your person's coming towards you to make an offer now this offer might be a bit rubbish you might think actually I've heard better offers in my entire life than what you are giving me but they are trying their best they're going to be trying to make um, a significant offer towards you or what they feel is significant because they can see in this ideal world that they want to be with you you know they have got a great and strong desire to build a future and a stable foundation with you yes their situation is complicated Yes, it is difficult. Yes, they are potentially involved with other people or something along those lines. But through that, that relationship isn't particularly great. The reason, a lot of the reason why they'll be staying there is because of children or because of stability and security, okay? Um, now, if we look at these people on this card, even though they look like they're playing happy families, they are very distant from one another. Your person is looking towards the future and the person that they are with is looking towards the past and they aren't meeting in the middle, okay? So whilst this relationship in their family unit is going on and it's not looking great, your person on the same side of it, on the flip side, is making this movement towards you with some form of offer. And it does feel to be an offer of a bit more stability. So it looks like you guys might be planning for a direction that you're going to take or stepping into the next part of your lives with one another.
okay now it's not going to be easy it is going to be very difficult um difficult times for you guys if you choose to progress with it it's not just going to be all sugar-coated nice and fairy but it does look possible that you're going to be getting what you want from the situation they are aware that the cycle has got to close and a new cycle has got to begin the spirit is saying a lot of the karmic contracts that of you guys that have chosen deck number two a lot of karmic contracts are coming to an end potentially a lot of that is happening in october spirit are saying as well so there's an ending of a cycle and a beginning of a new one as they break away from this this crux that's holding them together okay and with that this strong offer coming forward now sometimes the offer the reason why you not might not be very happy about the offer is because it might seem a little bit immature whilst you're sitting there thinking right give me everything that you want give me your whole life tell me where it's going what's the future what what's going on your person say let's go for a coffee okay so you might feel that it's not quite the offer that you want but your person is really analyzing this at this moment in time yes it is slow and it is steady but there is movement and there is a shift in your person's energy towards you now as we step forward from that again we have a cycle breaking and you have your celebration now again this can be a twin flame card um, a very high vibrational connection between the two of you but also this celebration coming forward and with the wheel as well spirit is saying this is fortune turning into your favor so it's not just the ending of a cycle it's the ending of a cycle a beginning of a new one as things step into your favor and the here is you dancing okay so this is your celebration going on with your person there's a major shift happening with you guys and whether you've been consciously manifesting it or subconsciously man manifesting it your energies are aligning with one another and it's time for the next chapter together okay so this is really 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 positive um the love for you is extremely extremely strong and um, they realize with the dice coming back over to the dice they realize that they've made some errors in the past and they want to make amends of those errors as well with you they feel that they let you down that they hurt you that um you've been very upset by the situation and they're realizing that you know um they, they have this feeling of guilt of how they treated you, how they handled it with you. And this is why they want to make amends. You know, they really, really want to make amends. It's coming. It's just taking its time. It is going to take a bit of time. Um, seven of Pentacles, working it all out, working out what they want. Again, kind of, you've got the Seven of Cups as well. A lot of Sevens definitely signifying the month of July as they work out what it is that they want from this connection between the two of you. And the connection that they want is coming towards you very, very strongly. Just, it's going to take a little bit of time, okay? So, really good stuff. Very strong emotions for you. Very, very strong emotions for you. Getting their big boy pants or girl pants on as they make the slow movement towards you and offer coming in. Working at the moment, currently working out what they want. Maybe seeing different options. Maybe the offer's not going to be quite what you want at this moment, but it's working in the right direction. Breaking away from the family connection, breaking away from the ties that they have in that family. Again, you've got um, a lot of symbols coming up in this as we look at the geometry between, not geometry, yeah geometry as we look at the sacred geometry between the two of you very strong connection as the karmic energy clears um subconsciously manifesting as your energies align and you have got your celebration and things turning in your favor that teamed up with the dice um it's looking really positive it's just taking a little bit of progression and a little bit of time between you both of you but there is this major shift going on into your energies with one another it hasn't been an easy ride it's it's been a very complex, very hard, very energy sucking ride between the two of you. But this progression route is stepping forward quite strongly. OK, so this is really positive, really, really positive. Um, I just got on this song as well, a song with this. I got um, from the Hunchback of, ne uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame about Esmeralda when she's singing about uh, come and dance to the beat of my tambourine. Your person's actually more in your palm than what you think they are. OK, you are more in control of this than what you think you are. And your person is more in your palm of your hand. OK, um, you are the one that your person is attracted to. You are the one that your person wants to be with. You are the one that your person is working out that this is what they want. You are the one that your person isn't going to want to let go. OK, they want to see how this can work between the two of you. And as the karmic contracts come to a close, this shift is quite abrupt. So slow movement 
slow movement, working it all out, nice and slow, steady pace, and then this abrupt energy coming forward of, oh my God, I love you, I can't live without you. Okay, so let's have a look at the Lenormand as well while we're at it, the fortune telling cards. Let's see what comes up here. What's going to happen next with their people and the person, their person, even if they are with someone else, what's going to happen next? So these, again, these work very, very differently from Tarot. One. Two. We're going to get five. We're going to read it in a row of five. Three. What's going to happen? Oh. Next. Four, one more, one more, please, okay. So the Lenoma is kind of, these are just showing up the struggle that your person is going to be going through to get to over here, okay? So we have your overall outcome of your celebration. The Lenoma are showing the struggle that is going on behind your person. So we have the initial card that they know what they want over the situation. Where we are over here, we're working it out. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Over here, we have the working out of the situation and then you have this, I know what it is that I want. Okay, so knowing what it is that they want, they then start to overcome any barriers that they have, okay? So they work through this and start to release the barriers. Now, as that happens and they release these barriers and realize what they want, we go towards the bear. So they are gonna be feeling quite conflicted over the situation and with the bear over the top, there is still this mask that they are wearing. You might find that they could be a little bit self-defensive over the situation. So knowing what they want, knowing what they want, working out what they want, letting the clouds shift. And as they realize that the clouds are shifting, this feeling is uh, being released from the energy, you have the bear coming forward. So you might find that they try and take a lot of control back of the situation. You might find that they are the ones calling the shots, but we already know that with this coming forward over here with your page of pentacles. So once they've done that, also with this, this is reflecting on their relationship that they are currently in, if that is where they are, or again, third party, whatever that may be. This domineering effect over the house, your person is in control of the situation that is happening in their home life okay so working out what they want then the situation over their home life um potentially wearing a little bit of a mask but you've also got this quite agitated behavior coming forward is the right word and as we go from that the house then comes to this cross knowing that they've got a cross to bear knowing that they have to choose a pathway on it okay so your person is going to be going through a quite a difficult time with it all as they actually work through what it is that they want as they go through these kind of progression routes they can see that you guys can be together and through that they have got to start cutting things off in their home life and this is what this is this is the shift in the energies in their home life okay working out they want to be with you clouds are then uh, clearing with you but overcoming to your person your person's then got the potential to be a little bit um, nasty or detrimental to the home the home then leads to this cross which is saying that there's a cross to bear over this and there's got to be a choice made okay and this is the way your person is going to work out what it is that they want their home life spirit is saying is very difficult it's very um ag agitated again very kind of you know that feeling when you know that something's not quite right and you're very agitated and a little bit snappy and a bit grouchy. It's that energy. You've got the snappy, grouchy energy coming forward with your person, okay? Their love for you is strong. Um, they've got a, a bit of a rough ride and they're going to need you to be their biggest supporter. I just got cheerleader, that song cheerleader. They're going to need you to be their cheerleader as they go through this battle because they're going to be, let's face it, they're going to be going through this battle because they want to be with you. OK, and we need you to be their biggest supporter as they make those shifts and those movement towards you. OK, not there yet. Halfway there. OK, maybe three quarters of the way there you guys are. And as these karmic contracts come to an end, that development and movement towards you is very strong and specific. So go with the flow of it. Let it be slow and steady. Let your person do the groundwork um, be their supporter. 
you know, no pressure, try to take your foot off the gas with them. If you're pressurizing them, try not to do that. They know they want to be with you. They've just got to make these movements towards you. And that is what they are, are planning. Nearly there, nearly there. Hold tight, okay? And that is deck number two. So if you need me guys, I will put all the details in the description. Have a phenomenal week, my beauties. I love you all to pieces and I will speak to you soon. God bless guys. Bye.